We are wishing a happy birthday to Brendan Velez, Luna Perez, Janiah Welch, Brandon Sumter, and Austin Vernon. Today is National Lost Sock Day. Maybe you put a load of laundry in and miraculously one sock has gone missing. Today is the day to honor all the socks that don't have matches. Good morning Central. I am Shahadat. Today is Tuesday, May 9th, and it's a D-Day. There will be a community blood drive on Tuesday, May 16th from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Community members, staff, and students are welcome to donate. Please see Mr. Bakanek in D159 if you are 16 and older and interested in donating. Challenge Club is running its cozy collection for Oishi Children's Hospital. They are collecting unused tagged squishmallows and fuzzy blankets. For every item donated, you will receive a ticket that will be raffled off for a chance to dump a Gatorade jug of iced water onto a staff member of your choice at the Spring Carnival on May 25th. You can drop off these items to Mrs. Gormley or Mr. Baker by, or, yeah, Baker by May 5th, 25th for a chance to win. Juniors and seniors, don't forget your prom tickets. It's only $60. On sale until the next Wednesday, you only have nine more calendar days to do this. Good morning, Central. I'm Richard Fox here with your Everyday Sports. The Warriors unified basketball team traveled to Star Point last Friday for an assembly game. The Warriors rose to the occasion and overcame the roar of the crowd to take on the Spartans 54-39. The Warriors offense was led by the two big men in the paint. Ben Snatecki led the team with 18 points and a very aggressive defense. Matt Scafetta had 16 points and controlled the board. Jonathan Robinson had 8 points and 9 assists, leading the Warriors with his unselfish play. Alex Milne chipped in with four points, and Jamari Johnson, Donnell Jackson, Michael Damiano, and Miracle Vance all chipped in with two points. The Warriors dominated the boards with the great rebounds by Jaleel Wallace, Jeffrey Joya, Chase Catholdi, and Caleb Velez. Congrats to Michael Damiano and Ben Snitecki for earning the Hart Helmet Award. There will be a girls' soccer match meeting for those interested in playing next year on Thursday, 8 a.m. in the high school gym. Come out and support your Warriors at home this week. We're looking at partly cloudy and low 60s, so it should be a good week to get out to a game. Today, girls softball plays Pioneer at 5, while Unified takes on Will North in the gym at the same time. On Tuesday, the track team hits the starting lines against Tonawanda. On Wednesday, boys tennis plays East Aurora at 5. On Wednesday, our boys play East Aurora at 5, while our baseball inches closer to the plate against Lackawanna at 5. The rest of the week is light on the home front, which is good because the forecast calls for some rain. Go Warriors! And that's all for today's announcements. Have a great day, Central.